Treshawn Dean, class of 2014, Miami Norley Senior High School, linebacker. All right, man. So last year you guys ended up losing in the second round of the playoffs. How much did that sting you and, and carry over into this season? No, it hurts a lot because we beat the team earlier in the season, but we used it as a motivation for this season not to lose again and just keep on competing. This, this offense, I know, brings back a lot of stars, but tell me about some of your teammates on defense and uh, the unit and why you guys are going to be a better unit this year. We're going to be another good unit. Um, our secondary is strong with guys like Ryan Butler, Xavier Francis. Then we also got some D linemen. We got a ninth grader who's like 6'3, 300. We're going to be pretty good on the defensive side of the ball, also. And, and obviously, going against a good offense every single day makes you guys better. Talk about those guys on that side and uh, how they make you better. You know, our offense is returning a lot, so it's just always competing every day, just getting better. We get after it a lot, and then we just love to comp comp compete with each other. It's time to go and play football. You weren't scared in the league? No, we're not no little brother. Coach Bird was scared. I don't know if he did that. No, nah, he wasn't scared. <laughs> uh, what did you and the teammates say? I mean, was it something that all you guys sort of said, hey, this is excited, this is going to make us better, better players? Or? Like, everybody's excited. Everybody's just want to go, go out there and compete and, probably, and be just the champions. Obviously, the way things are measured now in Northern State Championships, um, what areas do you think this team has to improve for you guys to be a state championship team? Just becoming one unit and a, and a family. Is that that's it? Yes, sir. Or, or is there other things? That's basically it. Just becoming one unit, okay. Uh, talk to me about college situation and uh, recruiting and so forth. Who have you talked to? Do you have an offer? I have an offer from Illinois, BYU, FAU. It means a lot to me that my hard work has paid off finally. Um, you have family members that have been to college before, or you're the first one? Um, my father graduated from Central Michigan University, and my sister went off to college this Friday. So it's expected now. This is something that's, you know, yes, it's expected. Yeah, what do, you, what do you want to study in college? Business. Business. Any, any dream job besides the NFL that you want to you know, do? No dream job right now. Yes. You got to give me a good Coach Berg story because I, I've seen him on the you know on the sideline with the visor when he gets mad. You got to give me a good Coach Berg story. A good Coach Berg story. Mm. Probably a halftime when we played Jackson the first time when we that started screaming, cursing. <laughs> but he got us together though, and we came out and won. Does it work? Yes, it works. Some other kids before give me the impersonation of the head coach. What's something he says all the time? Mm. Something he says all the time. I can't say it right now. Not to you or you like, can't say it right now. Oh, we go to the pool a lot we together. To pool a lot in summertime yeah, play video games, pool. Video games show. All right. um, and uh, at the end of the season, this will be the last question. When you look back at your senior year, what do you hope, even if you don't want to stay championship, what do you hope to ultimately accomplish? When I look back, I just want to say that I just gave my all.